Hello ladies and gentlemen, Fireman Dan here. Welcome back to some Space Engineers. So, in this tutorial I'm going to cover Whiplash's AI Terrorist Slaving Script. I already did a video on this, but there was some fuzziness to it, quality control issues that happened with the upload to YouTube that I didn't notice until some people mentioned it in the comments. If you want to see that one, I will go ahead and throw the card up at the top for you, but it may be a little hard to watch. If you want to go see it, you know, go watch it, you'll see what I'm talking about. But, let's get started. So, Whiplash's Turret AI Slaving Script. What is this? Well, essentially, if you watch this little gif right here, it allows you to make automatically controlled rotor turrets. So Whiplash has one where you can use your mouse to uh, control them, but that requires your input. This one does not. And by rotor turret, uh, let me see if I can find one. Da -da -dum, turret. This is a rotor turret, essentially. You got a rotor, or the, the spin around. You got an elevation turret. And then you got guns on the end. So how, how, how do you build this? How does it uh, work? Well, it's relatively simple. The first thing you need to do is you need a designated turret. And I am going to use all vanilla parts for this. You can use modded turrets, but the weapon core mod does not work with these turrets, unfortunately. Well, it doesn't work with the script, I should say. So. I got a designator turret, right? And if you come in here, you see each... Each turret group requires... Where is it at? Um, you need a base hinger rotor, an elevation hinger rotor, and at least one of the following. Any fixed weapons, cameras, ship tools, any light block. And by light block, it means like a uh, butt light or interior light. And you need your designated turret. So we're going to come in here. We're going to call this designator. And now we're going to set up our azimuth rotor. Right? And I don't need this big rotor head, head on here. So I'm going to delete that. Come into my control seat. Go under rotor and hit add small head. Now I got a little small rotor head on here. Let's come up two blocks. Now from here you have two options. You can either stick another rotor on here, like so, or you can stick a hinge on here. Uh, let's get a different. Get a smaller hinge. You can stick a hinge on here. Either one works. It doesn't matter. It's your choice. Depends on what you want to build. And then you need some kind of implement on here, right? So a light, a uh, ship tool, or a weapon. In this case, Gatling turret. So, I got my base rotor. I got my elevation hinge or uh, rotor. And this can be a, a hinge too. I got my designator. Now we need to group these together. You need your designator, your tool, your hinge and rotor. Nope, don't need that. And you do need to put them in a group called turret group and then something. In this case, number one. Then we need to put the script in the program block. See, it says you got one rotor, to, rotor groups found. And if you ever make any changes to this, you can see right here to refresh blocks and reprocess the block groups, run the augment setup. So basically, it would be set up and hit run. That's if you make any changes. Now, here's what's, what's going to happen these are grouped together. Whatever this does, this will do, all right? 
So if I come in here, you can take control of the designator if you wish. And control. See the little rotor turret spinning. If I shoot, that's gonna shoot. Now you can control it, or it'll target on its own. Right? And then you can also reset the set up a reset point to where these would aim back to. What I mean by that is if I come into this rotor, custom data, use manual reset angle. I'll set that to, uh, we'll set it to true, but we'll keep it at the zero degrees. And for the hinge, same thing. Manual reset, true, but let's set this to 45 degrees. Now remember, we made changes here, so we had to go into program block and rerun the setup. Now, it's resting angle, it's zero degrees, see, zero degrees. But the hinge is resting up at a 45 degree angle. Why would you want to do that? Really aesthetics. Depends on what you want to do with it. So this is the turret setup. Once again, you need a designator and you need your rotor turret. And you can have as many, many designators and as many rotor turrets as you want. Up next is the gimbals. And what do I mean by gimbals? Well, I'll set this up here, All right? put a hinge on here. This will be difficult. Um, okay. Now, in order for me to throw a small grid uh, gimbal on here, I gotta add the rotor head on here. But, I'm not going to actually put this was part of the group, and you'll see what I mean. So, put a rotor, a hinge on there, and a turret on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the hinge, the gun, and the designator in the group only. And what that means is this will basically go up and down only. So I'm going to grab the designator, the Gatling turret, and the hinge, and put it in a gimbal group. Gimbal group, and then same thing, number one. Program block. Put the script in. Now watch what happens. I don't want this shooting, so let's turn this off. So now when I put this target in, I'm not gonna I'm gonna put it over here. The interior turret picks it up, but this one is aiming up in the right direction. But it can't swing over to the left to target it. What is this good for? What is something like this good for? Well, this helicopter that I'm working on, I got a nose turret on it which is slave to this designator on the bottom. And I got two gimbal uh, Gatling guns on it that aim up and down that are also slaved to this nose turret. And the reason I did this is, as I'm flying along, remember I'm a helicopter, you gotta tilt forwards and backwards to move, right? Move forwards and move backwards. Well, depending on what your tilt is may affect your side turrets, you know, aiming arc. So I stuck these on a gimbal. So as I'm flying forwards, and this road, this uh, turret down here automatically aims and locks onto a target, these gimbal guns would aim up and down at the correct angle to lock onto the target and hit it. The only thing I would have to do as a pilot is, is uh, aim left and right until they're on line. That's it. I could So I could be sitting here at a hover and there could be a target slightly down from me and I don't want to pitch forward because if by me pitching forward I would start to move forward, right? Well, 
guess what? The gimbals can now aim at a downward angle, and all I gotta do is squeeze the trigger. That's what gimbals are good for. And in order to set it up, all you need is a single hinge and a gun on it and your designator. And instead of putting it in, in a group called turret group, you put it in a group called gimbal group. So that's rotor turrets, that's gimbal turrets. And last but not least, we are going to do the slate turrets. So let's grab Gatling turrets here. Put three of these down. One, two, three. And we're going to put a designator turret down. And the command for this was slave group. So, all three Gatling turrets, then the interior turret. Slave to group one, right? That needs to be called designator. And in the program block, I'm gonna throw this script in. One slave group found. Now, if I take control of this, by controlling one turret, I am effectively controlling three. And what is this good for? Well, maybe more for a multiplayer aspect, because these turrets will automatically target the enemy anyways, right? They're another you know, AI turret. They're already going to target something. But if you want to target something specifically, and you want all three of these to aim at the same spot. So let's say either enemy's engines or cockpit space. You can control one turret, and then essentially you'll be firing four at an enemy's spot. And once again, this, this works uh, by itself. You don't have to have any control over it whatsoever. But if you want to take control of it, you can. But, like I said, the, I, don't, I don't see any real reason to have this itself in, in turret slaving. Because, once again, why? All three of these turrets will aim on their own. So you don't actually need to slave them to anything. But, if in a, maybe in a multiplayer aspect, in a multiplayer cruise ship, you're flying and you got a buddy controlling your guns... By default, he can only control one, one of these, a one out of four. But by grouping them all together, take control of one of them, and now you're essentially controlling four turrets. And I just threw three of them on here. You can throw two of them on here. You can throw six of them on here. You can throw ten of them on here. It's your choice, your build, and your your imagination to limit. There are some advanced features of this. You can, uh, this can control interior lights and then the script can control timer blocks. But I already got a separate video coming out for that and it will release after this one. So probably a week after this, this video is released, you will see it. And I'll explain how to use that. But this is Fireman Dan. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button as well. And I will see you guys next time on Space Engineers.